Let's talk about minimum wage. Is it too low, too high, too right, just right? Who decides? Watch this video and maybe it will change your mind how you feel about minimum wage. Let me just say, my first job paid $2 an hour. I didn't even know what the minimum wage was. My thinking was $2 times 10, 20 hours a day. That's $20 more than I had yesterday. Did I think that that was my career job? No, I didn't. That only lasted three days. My next job paid $3.15 an hour. Wow, $1.15 more, doesn't sound like much, but that is almost, what, 50% more? 56, almost 60% more? Wow, who wouldn't like 60% pay raise, right? But still, $3.15 an hour, that still doesn't buy a house or anything for that matter. Dishwasher, not a really career job. And I didn't think it was. But it was a stepping stone. It was a job to bring me to the next job, to the next level, to a better job. So what is the purpose of minimum wage? And why do we have it? Well, you know, if you know me, it's politics because it sounds good. Did you notice that Walmart, among other places, has doubled their minimum wage from seven something, whatever it is, to $15 an hour? Well, there's a big political movement now, as you know, that is demanding that employee pay $15 an hour. Wow, it's a magic number, $15, okay. So the average person works, what, 2,000 hours a year? Easy math, 2,000 times 15, $30,000. Well, okay, that sounds like a living wage. But have you noticed service at Walmart? Did it got twice as good, better as, as it was? I didn't notice it. I noticed that their service still sucks for the most part. The people that work there still don't care much about company. They show up because that's how you get paid. I'm not, I'm excluding, I know they're good people working, I understand all that, I'm not, I'm not turning that. But I'm just saying that $15, the doubling someone's wages, didn't make their productivity double. For you young kids graduated from college and you're getting your first job at $28,000, $35,000, whatever, you actually are not worth $30,000. Yeah, after a few months, some training and whatnot, you get to use some of your book knowledge and your productivity increases and you become worth more than $30,000. So, what is a job? What is a definition of a job? If I would be a news reporter, let's say, and I'm at the news conference, it's town hall meeting, we have our local representative, congressman is uh, promoting minimum wages. I like to ask him, and you, what is a job? And who creates one and why? Let me see if I can put some light on this. Job is a byproduct and necessity for a business owner who wants to produce a good or service. And it has created this position by employing you to help him achieve a certain goals. For example, to make a profit so he can feed his family and, you know, and whatnot. So, how much should he pay you? Well, as little as possible. Wouldn't you do the same? So what is a job? Job is a component of a production of a good or service. Usually, one of the most expensive components of producing a good or service. Why would someone hire you? Well, this may come as a shocker to you young generations who, as newly graduate, you think that the world owes you everything and that you should start at $80,000. And some jobs do pay you $80,000 because you have the skills right after college to earn that money. But remember, for most of you young grads, 
When you get the $30,000 job and somebody pays you, you're still not worth that $30,000. You don't have a skills that are worth $30,000. Hopefully, and that's the hope on the business owner, that you will exceed that. Your contribution to the business will far exceed $30,000. What does that do? That creates your pay raise. That creates your bargaining skill. Because when you achieve those skills and experience, then you can go to the business owner or your boss, whatever, and demand higher wages. Demanding higher wages means what? Means that your output exceeds your cost, your productivity, your, your contribution in monetary terms far exceeds what your cost is. So if you're getting $40,000 salary or $30,000 or whatever, but if you're producing $80,000 worth of good or service, you have a bargaining power to walk up to your employer and say, hey, look what I have done for you. You are not doing enough for me. And if you are not willing to do more for me, I'm leaving because I know that I'm worth more. The good employer realizes that and they'll pay you more because they want to what? They want to keep you. So putting artificial price tag on anybody's wage, it doesn't work. And why it doesn't work? Let's play with the numbers. $15 an hour. Okay. If I'm a congressman, I'm proposing 50. If 15 is good, 50 is better, isn't it? I help. Let's just make it a nice round number of $100 an hour. You say, whoa, 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 whoa. Well, what? We can't afford, well, why not? At what point, again, and who decides? At what point do we say, okay, 15 is nice, 25 would be great, 45, uh, that's a little bit, you know, we're getting too close, 100 is too much. Who decides that? Are there people there, out there? who make $100 an hour? You bet there. are. Are there people there who make $10,000 an hour? Yeah, there are. Why? Well, let's start with a basic definition and see if this kind of helps you. This is what I tell kids when I talk to them about, why isn't this free? Why does something cost so much? Or why does it, you know, everything should be free. Why is dirt cheap? Eh, most kids, and some adults would answer, well, because there's a lot of it. Yeah, it's true. Why are diamonds expensive? Oh, now they're catching on. Well, because there's not that many of them around. Oh, okay, so we got something going on here. All right. So why is a general labor, let's say a mowing your lawn, cheap? I mean, generally speaking, 20, 30, 40 bucks, depending where you are in the country. You can mow your lawn, pay someone to do it for 30 bucks. Why? Because just about any adult, age 16 and up, can do it. Average quarter acre yard lawn mower, anybody can do it. So the competition for that labor is huge. Now, if you need a brain surgery, open heart, you don't want your lawn guy to work on your heart, would you? So. You have a brain surgery that took out the cancer, you're doing great. Your bill is $128,000. What happened? Well, the labor cost, as in your surgeon, are kind of high. Why? Well, because there are a few of those. They're like diamonds, right? There are not that many brain surgeons around the country. So they cost a lot. That's excluding the medical school and all the training and liability and everything else that goes with it, it costs a lot of money. But also because they're exceptionally skilled, talented and whatnot, they have a high price tag. So who, who, how did we decide what about minimum wage for, I don't know, for a surgeon? Should that be $1,000 an hour or maybe $800 or $295? I don't know. Who decides? How about a market? How about we decide for market to set the prices? The minimum wage do not work. 
does not improve productivity, does not improve anybody's skills. You have to earn those with more training, more, more education, more practice, and more doing. So if $15 an hour is great, let's make it 100. It will be great. Okay, so why don't we make it 100? Remember the math, 2,000 hours times $100 an hour, $200,000. Wow, okay. Now we're talking. Every person working in America for minimum wage is now earning $200,000 a year. Wow, that would be great, right? So that would make everybody homeowner. Well, except not. See, it's not the numbers, how much you make. It's the purchasing power. It's what you can buy with money that you earn. So if your minimum wage at McDonald's, $100 an hour, well, hamburger is no longer $1.95 or whatever it costs. The hamburger now is probably $10 an hour. And that house that you're renting from me for $1,500, now it's $4,500 or $7,000 or $11,000 or whatever I can get. So you would be still in the same spot because even at 100,000, you would still be the lowest at purchasing power wise. And that means you would be able to buy just as much as the buying today with seven and a quarter or $10 an hour, whatever the minimum wage is. So it's just a skewed numbers. That's all it means.